Big Brother Rewind is sponsored by Hover.com. Go to gfq.hover.com and get 10% off your entire purchase. FreshBooks. FreshBooks is an easy-to-use online invoicing service that saves you time, gets you paid faster, and makes you look professional. Get started completely for free at FreshBooks.com. And by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook by going to audiblepodcast.com slash GFQ. Tonight on the GFQ Big Brother Rewind, it's the beginning of Big Brother Season 13. Who are the new house guests? Will they be washouts or make a splash? Which past Big Brother dynamic duos will join the new hamsters? And what twist will this season hold? All this and more on this week's Big Brother Rewind. I cannot believe a year has passed. I know. I'm excited. Very excited, right, Joss? I'm so excited for season 13. I'm Adrian Zarian, joined by the uh, the very prompt Jessica. Prompt? Prompt. You're always here. Uh, yeah. I don't have to worry if you won't show up. That's and true. a new addition to the Big Brother Rewind team for season two, uh, Tim Dillon. The very beautiful. A very, the very beautiful the very Tim beautiful Dillon. Very talented. A big uh, reality show fan. A huge fan of reality television. Uh, we've, uh, we, I actually discovered your liking for Big Brother due to our conversations about uh, the Mob Wives. Every, 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 show gets a fa- every reality show gets a shot with me. So uh, for people just tuning in, this might be your first time tuning into uh, the Big Brother Rewind that we do every year here on the GFQ Network. We pretty much do a wrap up of everything that has happened that week on Big Brother, on the CBS hit show Big Brother. Right now, the show is not aired. Uh, It is 7 p.m. East on Thursday. The show is premiering in two hours. And uh, we will be doing a what we expect, uh, a pre-show. Uh, t- to what Big Brother will be. Uh, last year was um, was interesting. Mm-hmm. Coming off of Big Brother 11, which Big Brother 11 was huge. Right. Uh, to, especially for me. I don't know. So a lot of people, they didn't like it, but I, I liked Big Brother 11. I thought it was done well. I thought the, uh, the coup d'etat was very interesting mm-hmm. and it really changed the direction of the game. Uh, it was, they tried to attempt it in Big Brother 12. With the saboteur, which was an epic fail, which was awful, awful, right, Tim? I think it was. It was probably one of the things that made the uh, season not as successful as it could have been. Yeah, I thought it was awful. Uh, Jess, your opinion? Uh, it was ridiculous. Did you think it was awful the execution or the idea? Because I didn't think the idea was awful. The, I thought the execution of it was. I bad. think the problem was the idea wasn't thought out. Right, right. I don't right. think the idea was really thought out. Right. They said, "Well, we're going to have this one person. They're going to sabotage." I things. like the idea. It was kind of like a play on like the mole. You know, I kind yeah, like, that. Yes, I, that yes. I did. I thought the idea was good. I thought the execution, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But I wondered, like, in that CBS production meeting, right? I wonder if anybody stood up and said, what if they're eliminated first? <laughs> I guarantee right. you people right. said, oh, that won't happen. Right. Right. What well, are the well, odds? What are the odds? Right. Well, they were down one person, and, and I don't know if that had something to do with it. One person actually was in sequester, and they had to leave. Right. So I th- think, you know, that really changed the, the tone of the game and the, the, the way the game went. One person could make a total difference, but... This year, they have a big twist, too. Well, every year. Huge twist. Uh, well, twist. the biggest twist. Expect the unexpected. The well, biggest that's every twist. Year. No, but it's the biggest twist okay, in Big Brother history. Biggest twist ever. Every, every twist year. twist of all twists. This year. Uh, and you're thinking, what could a twist be? I ought to, When I first heard it, and I hadn't heard what, what was said, I thought they were going to bring somebody in. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, no, Saboteur version 2, maybe a tweaked version. What I think they should have done was one p- person should have been in the house and they should not have been playing the game. And somehow Big Brother could have saved them if they went on the block. You know, they could have been a twist in that sense. And it could have been that this one person was fighting against everybody and they weren't in the game. Mm-hmm. It comes out maybe halfway through the season where they're not in the game. Something like that. I don't know. I, listen, I'm not I'm no executive here. Right. I'm sure it's that a stupid idea. That would change all of the rules. But they, I know. But they could have done. I mean, listen. First of all, they they did a second saboteur, and that that was stupid. They Useless. didn't want to get. They didn't want to give up on the idea. Well, right. the idea was stupid. I mean, what do you, they pranked you? Right. It really. Right. It, well, right. you know what? It, actually, in the end, it did work. Remember when they left that note on Enzo's bed? And 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 yeah. listen, I love Enzo, and and you you know Enzo. 
Enzo thought it was Kathy, even though Kathy made the bed. Because because Kathy made the bed. Therefore, she left the note. Right. You know, to kind of stump everybody. Stir things up. Yeah. I want to continue this. But before we do, we have sponsors here. I want to thank our great sponsor, Hover.com. Uh, for Ooh. joining the Big Brother Rewind, for people who don't know, Hover.com is a domain registrar, uh, much better than those other guys. So that everybody, you know, people know and they have drive cars and they have the girls dancing and all this crazy stuff. The reason why they're so much better is there's no upsell with these guys. You go to the website, you buy the website, the domain, and you're done. That's it. It's over. If you go to gfq.hover.com, you can get 10% off your entire purchase. Now, you're not going to get an email threatening you that they're going to cancel the account like those other guys that happened to me, even though I had a month to renew. Uh, you're not going to end up paying $35 for a website that should cost you half the amount because you want to get private registration. You want to get everything else included. With Hover, it's already included. So you just pay that $15 plus a 10% off and you're done. You're out of there. It takes about 30 seconds to buy a domain. And I recommend you go try it out. Go to gfq.hover.com and get 10% off your entire purchase. Thank you, Hover. So, um, you know, again, we're going to be ra- we're going to be discussing certain things that have happened last episode last season because this is a pre-show and what we expect. Um, now we're at the point where what, what, what do they do this year? What, what can they do? What do you what do you hope to see, Jess, from this year? And then we're going to run down the list of people uh, that we hope to see. I hope to see a twist that makes sense and works. Like what? I thought, the, I, I thought again, the, the coup d'etat was, was right. great. Or perhaps seeing somebody from a past season. Although well, I don't think that's a, really necessarily fair. I mean, I know that's kind of the rumor that's out there, but it's not really fair. Well, they have said it's a blast from the past. Right. And looking at the list, which I have the list here, mm-hmm. we're missing six people. That's a big missing mm-hmm. right. you know it's not two people it's not four people it's six people it's a big missing. chunk of the cast yeah we're going to revisit this uh this uh, this list here of uh people in the house but and the idea is that it could be it could be you and you i spoke to you about this before yeah. this was on any blogs your, your idea was that it could be three couples yeah right. that that's my theory and if you go back to that picture can you put that back up yeah it's not six spots it's three couples the way that it's set up right i believe i believe our guy did this or it was courtesy of online big brother oh, the okay. website I mean, I, we took it from a website okay yeah so this was not our doing um this was another person's or cbs did i'm not too sure exactly but to do that i mean this is interesting because and i think this is this idea is flawed as well because let's say it's three couples right mm-hmm. and let's go with the obvious uh let's go with Let's go with uh, Jeff and Jordan. Right. Because CBS loves them. Probably loves the, most them. CBS, the, the most popular, most popular on the show yeah. of all time. Right. And then they were oh, on right. Amazing Race yeah. together. So they've... They, they're all over. And they, yeah. they, they're doing everything on CBS. Uh, Je- uh, Brandon and Rachel, which everybody hated. Oh, God. But healthy, they were great. You know, I kind of missed her. By the end of the scene, I missed her. You need that. You need those She was a villain. People. You're crazy. I did. And the third one, it's, it's in the air. Right. Who's going to be the third couple? Dick and Danielle. I don't listen. I I'd like to see that. I I'm will be surprised. Dick. I will be really surprised if it is Dick because I spoke to Dick last week. Mm-hmm. So if it is Dick, <laughs> he's the best. He's job. the he's best at hiding. Good. But he was very cryptic in it in the yeah. in the message he left me. Very cryptic, and I have not heard back from your guy, Dick, because uh, I'm sure Dick is watching. Right. So the other one is Enzo and Hayden. But how are they? A power couple. Right. And Hayden won. So why would you put him... Well, no. J- well, Jordan so did, won. Yeah. So, so did Dick. Okay. And you Dick won too. think it's necessarily yeah. couples? It could be not. It could not you be know? couples. Or could it just be popular people from past seasons? Well, today I was watching the talk. Right. And the talk has um, Chen Bot. Yeah, Julie She's Chen. She's one of the hosts of the talk. And so they did like a special like pre-show for Big Brother. And they went into the big brother house and they did a little, like a little game they did where a they mini like mini big brother, right? Right. Like where they voted people out or whatever. And right before the end of the show where they like announced who was going to be voted out, mm-hmm. they brought in, um, Will and Boogie from the past seasons. And then Chan bot turned to him and said, I really, really hope that one day if CBS decides to do, um, an all stars game, you would be part of it. Will and Boogie. Mm-hmm. 
but it wasn't an, it, she used another term not all stars it was something like best of yeah, yeah like something like infamous duos or something like that she used something that when i was watching i thought well isn't that interesting because that's what the that's what the you know rumor is that what's going on now well well here's the thing now i think this idea is flawed because first of all you're not I, I, I'm wondering if the reason why, and this was a very last minute, last minute planning right. from uh, CBS it's production, Big Brother production. Because we right. know that they always put so much time and effort. Into we also know planning. that they left out, they announced a cast member who will now not be not on be the on. show right. due to the creative decision made by the executives. You know, So this shows right. this was a last minute thing, and I right. wonder if it's them not having faith in this season. Mm -hmm. compared to you know like last season compared to 11 right i think i think it, it, it flopped mm -hmm. and there were interesting characters i right. like reagan i liked enzo right they were uh, there were memorable few but, but they did nothing you know what i mean mm -hmm. nobody did a power move everybody right. would played it so safe in that mm -hmm. house and that was the biggest thing and there in if you have the uh the 24-hour feed their conversation i believe it was on the cbs feed their conversations between enzo and Brittany saying man, this season sucks. And they kept saying, yeah, I wish somebody would do something big. And, and Enzo goes, well, if I'm HOH, I'm going to do a power move. I'm going to do this. Nobody did anything. Right. right. Everybody played it safe. Well, if they do have this idea where they're going to bring in past guests, it's not, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that because I don't think that it's necessarily fair for people that haven't played the game to go against people that have yeah. played the game. I also want to make this a little bit interactive with the audience. So if you have Skype, you could Skype us and you let us know what you think. Uh, at the end of the show, we'll be answering some more fo some phone calls. Uh, you could Skype us at GFQ Hotline and you could call us and you can let us know what you hope to see this season and what you uh, imagine. I would like to turn see out to be. a new idea would be great. You know, a yeah. new idea. So instead of just bringing back people from the past seasons, it would be cool to see a new idea of a twist. I also like that Julie Chen lost on the mini Big Brother. Who won? I, I missed Julie it. Chen was voted out first. Yes. Yeah, which That's I would have guessed for marrying Les Moonves. Julie, I would have called Les Moonves as soon as that happened and had these people fired immediately. <laughs> Who won? Well, they didn't make it so that they like. Uh, nobody won. They didn't get to that point. They only did like one pretend week, which I think they yeah, taped in a day. It didn't look yeah. convincing. I'll be honest. It right. looked like they taped it maybe two to three hours. Mm -hmm. You know. Leah like, Remini is having a, a losing her mind in there. Yeah, it, it looked a little state. And I no one, yeah. I'm not buying that they're not having everything they want when the cameras are not there. Right. Well, here's the, here's the thing, right? So let's say we have six potential all-star members in this house, right? Right. You just screwed yourself for all-stars. Right. Because if you have Jeff and Jordan, let, let, let's go with, let's assume the rumors are true, right? Let's go with, Jeff and Jordan, Brendan and Rachel, uh, Jeff and Jordan are in, I, I'm 100% they're in. Right. Brendan and Rachel, I believe they're in. If they are doing this power couple thing, right? They could, it could be a swerve, it could be a twist. So the next one, let's say Dick and Danielle or, or Enzo and Hayden, which I don't think Dick is there and I don't think Hayden is there because Dick was Twittering today and that means he's not in Sequester or he's not or in the house. Four? Dick is Twittering. Huh? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, so I don't think Dick is there. I don't think Enzo is there because Enzo's Twitter was active. Mm -hmm. Unless they're, they they don't follow the same rules, maybe they're not playing. I mean, if they have people twittering for them, that's kind of a that's a brilliant move. And that is a brilliant move. And I you could know. see CBS mm -hmm. doing that to say, okay, now I, I want it to be a big secret. Tonight is live. Right. So it, it's you know unlike other times where we're on the show, we know what happened. Uh, we nobody knows what's happening, and none of the sites. You know, I went to uh, Big Brother Network, and they they didn't know. And online Big Brother does not know either. Right. Yeah, I was. So I these was, are you know, I follow those. I was sites. going through a couple of the sites, and nobody had a spoiler. You know, mm -hmm. nobody yeah. really, which was interesting. Nobody had any clue as to what was happening. There's a ton of people pontificating mm -hmm. as to what it is, and most people are saying what you guys have said. Right. It's couples, it's all stars, and that's pretty well, much what it's going to be. Dick and Danielle's season. The way that they did it was that was a great season, and that twist was wonderful. Where it was, you know, whatever the six or seven people, and then, there were, and then yeah. there were the seven people that the other one would potentially have hatred for upstairs, like ex boyfriends, ex roommates, a father and daughter that hadn't spoken for years. That idea in and of itself was fantastic. 
I think it might have been interesting if they created um, maybe like they sent in the All Stars, but they had the All Stars rooming with like almost setting up alliances before they got into the house. Like every All Star got like another person from the house, like a newbie. And then they 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 kind of like took them under their wing, right? And like they set up a. But there's not enough people in the house. You're talking if if that's the case, then only six, seven, six people are playing the game, and that that's ridiculous. This is not. I don't know. You know, you're not creating characters. This just shows that next season they're just gonna go. And this is my opinion. They're gonna go to an all star, and they're gonna milk that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I don't like a celebrity edition. They don't have faith in in their in their team and in the lineup. Because well, that also yeah. means that's only seven people, right? If if they weren't going based on that, that they've only announced seven people, so right. maybe they decided to add that extra person. Well, you put people the in this end. circumstance. You don't know how entertaining they're going to be. You can only judge it basically by interviews and things mm-hmm. like that. Right. You haven't, you know, the 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 uh, benefit of having all stars in there is you know how they're going to react in that yeah. situation, and you know that they've been entertaining before. Right, well, and they news, also have a fan base. I'm getting right. uh, news down the wire. Mm-hmm. Breaking news: okay. uh, CBS released photos of the house, and there were two HOH rooms. Wow, that's interesting. So, what there'd be like two games going on at one time? I don't know. So maybe, okay, maybe the six people that are in All Stars, they're told it's an All Star season. No, I'm sure and they're they know. on one side of the room. I don't know. You know that this is this is going to be interesting, and this is going to be fascinating how they played us out. Because if you have these guys, you have these all-star characters in there, and then you have the new people. In my eye, and this is how I see it, if if this is how the game is being played, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let's assume that the all-star people are in there. That's the swear of the power couples, and then they're fighting the house, and they're in on the house. They all know each other from all the meetups. And all the Big Brother, you know, uh, get-togethers and, and right. the, uh, conferences, they right. all know each other. So they're kind of going to get together. Mm-hmm. So you're creating alliances from the beginning. I have an idea. And, uh, you know, it's probably some of the audience from the Andrew Zarian Show knows, knows that I'm a comedian and things like that. But let's say they do, and I don't know, I, I know it's not possible, but what if, if I'm Les Moonez, I'm opening my pockets... Casey Anthony is walking into that house. You know what's so funny? Somebody how, just made somebody just made how, a joke in the room by murderers. Yeah, yeah I'm telling away. you right now. Can you imagine the look on it? I'm telling you right now. The saboteur. The show goes from a very popular show to the only thing people will talk about. <laughs> the saboteur. Is it morally think, right? No. But I think it's brilliant. Yeah. It's Although brilliant. she won't be out of jail till next Wednesday. She's not going to make it. So maybe she'd be like the surprise guest next Thursday on the live show. Casey Anthony and, and Rachel. Say, Wait a minute. Yeah. Casey Anthony versus Rachel in the house. They're both on the block. I kind of pick Rachel to go. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Kind of pick Rachel. I mean, Casey Anthony, yeah. you got to look at the benefit. She clearly knows about being sequestered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She knows about not being in the outside world. She knows about lying to people and deception. Mm-hmm. She she thought she was in Big Brother the she entire time. She knows about scheming. And murder. I mean. You know what? I always, I always wanted to allegedly. see a Big Brother where they handpick people from professions that already had certain experience with some type of to say I wanted to see uh, attorneys. I want you know mm-hmm. I you know I wanted to see people who you know in their regular everyday lives. Like the New York Magazine had a great article today that says you know summer's well on its way when all the local bartenders have left and Big Brother is starting. Right. You know because they I yeah. think the bar bartending is a they pick a huge pool. A huge so why don't we go down the them. list? Why don't you guys go down the list? Um, I want to thank right, of course we, mm-hmm. I want to thank. Um, who is this list b- belonging to? Uh, I want to thank. I'll, I'll thank really? him afterwards. Let me find him afterwards. We're still ironing everything out. Jess, uh, why okay. don't you guys split the list? Okay. Well, we can go down the first bit of the list. I'll just okay. give you the names. Okay. And then um, I think we need to pick our favorites and our. Sure. You. You. Let's worst. go down the list. Okay. We have. Lawn. Are, are you? Who are you looking at first? Where you go? Lawn <laughs> Exum. Uh, n- what page are you on, Jess? I'm what on page, page two. Lawan. I believe it's Lawan Exum. Right. What page Five. are you on? Okay, okay, listen, you're still messy I'm, with the I'm notes. page eight of nine. No, go to page two. Page two I is, uh, two. is that Shelly? No. Yes. Shelly Moore. So. Page two. Well, that's, that's page it. three. I'm sorry. Okay, no, no, no. Page two. two. You're right. Shelly Moore. Page Shelley two. Shelly Moore. Uh, it looks like me. And uh, this guy seems interesting. He's a outdoors industry executive. What does that mean? Why did I have to 
right there. You, you don't have page two. Go back. There you no. go. Go to page three then. That's Cassie. Okay, so I will I will find this. Uh, page this is part three. of the twist. Okay, CBS has scrambled okay. our notes right <laughs> yeah. now. This is part of what's going on. Yeah. We'll Got look at it. Shelley Moore. It's a beautiful character. Yes. Shelley Moore is age 41 from Centerville, Ohio. Oh. Mm -hmm. Outdoors industry executive. That's her occupation. That's a boy, right? No, you know, that's you know what it is? No. We, our, our pages are, we see the picture of the next person and we have the information of the previous person. Yeah. Got it. This is Shelly. Shelly Moore is a blonde. That's why I said she doesn't look like me. I apologize, <laughs> yeah. folks. Also, are we also. showing her? <laughs> yeah. There you go, Jess. There's Shelly. Excellent. Who bears no resemblance her to Her favorite me. activities, I like to play with my family. We play wall ball and Super Mario is hilarious. That... <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't oh. understand that sentence. Super Mario, to be honest, a great game. Not at all that funny. <laughs> yeah. At all. It's pretty predictable and, uh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty predictable game. That's not funny. We like to ride our bikes and scooters and swim a lot. I also like collecting all the junk mail, then saving it, then putting it up, putting all of its postage paid junk mail envelopes and sending it back to the sender. She is a fun, yeah. fun woman. She's got an exciting she life. She is. She's going to be out of there immediately. That's almost as hilarious as Super Mario. I like Mario. when she said, yeah. what's the, you know, what's the, uh, what do you think is the most difficult part of living in the Big Brother house? The filth of people who don't clean up their stuff. The other hard part would be sleeping in a room with people who snore. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, what is she afraid of? Snakes and really tall, tall buildings. buildings. Uh, what okay. is the accomplishment you are most proud of? My daughter. Every smile, every hug, every word. What exactly about tall buildings makes her afraid? Heights. Well, then you say you're afraid of heights. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't know. So I'm not a big fan of her. I already don't like her. Okay. So you picked the, pick the following guy, Tim. You go into that. The next guy is Adam. I believe it's Poch. P-O-C-H. Poach. 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 We'll go with Poach. He's from East Brunswick, New Jersey. This is the gentleman I said with a little resemblance to me. Looks like a member of my family. Um, he's a music inventory manager. Three adjectives that describe you funny, loud, cuddly. Okay, so who is he going to be? He's going to be the loud guy in he's that house. He's the Jersey right? guy. They needed right. somebody from like but Jersey or New York. You think he's going to play that role? He's going to play that I'm um, mm -hmm. the Jersey guy? You know, he says he likes dining out movies, Broadway plays. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe he's, not. Maybe he's more cultured than we think. What's the most difficult part of living in the Big Brother house? No music, TV, concerts, or sports. Okay. I like when he goes, strategy Bruce, for winning. No big Bruce. No Bruce. Know, Bruce Springsteen. No. No. no Jungle Land. No. Strategy for winning Big Brother. I am a born leader. That is a statement. <laughs> of, yeah, it is. is <laughs> I am a born leader. I didn't even acquire these leadership skills. <laughs> I'm born, I'm with, born them. with them. And a very friendly guy, so it's not hard for me to make friends. All right. He sounds like he could be in. He could go in, in a million different directions. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. What are, what is he afraid he's of? A, afraid of dogs. Large barking dogs. That's interesting. Uh, I like what he's most proud what of. What is he proud of, Josh? I once ate an extra extra large pizza all by myself. Yeah. So what? <laughs> so yeah. what? Uh, what would Apparently, you like to take? what would you like to take inside of the house and why? A micro cassette recorder so I could hear what everybody is saying and a bottle of bourbon. I agree with the second choice. Yeah. The bottle of bourbon, definitely. And his heavy metal sneakers. Okay. Yeah. And then we have Cassie, 26. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From Texas. Uh, from Allen, Texas, living in Nashville. She's a model. She looks a little bit like Me Megan Fox. She does. A little bit in the Fox. Mm -hmm. uh, she actually has uh, very racy pictures on the internet. You could definitely find them. Uh, what describes you? Stubborn, sincere, and funny. Uh, my favorite thing to do is sit around, preferably outside, and with men. Oh, so she's going to be the she's one that's the, boy crazy. She's the, the guy's girl in the house. She's mm -hmm. hanging out with the guys. Yeah. And have a couple of beers. Uh, she, do you think, you know what's funny? Do you think she's going to make it? I think she's going to be out like week two. I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Uh, strategy for winning Big Brother. I'm going to play the same way I live. Be sweet and kind to everybody, that's but always remember work. it's a game <laughs> and everybody's right. in for themselves. My plan is to stay neutral, fly under the radar. Don't be a threat and play... Well, in competitions, I never. Yeah, sweet and kind is not going to do it. You know who who played that role last year? Who played that role where they were nice to everybody? You could be sweet. Reagan. And yeah. No, Reagan. Reagan was. 
He, Reagan didn't do anything for most of the season. Do you guys think yeah. there has to be a stra- if you're going to be sweet and kind though? Doesn't there have to be a stra- an underlying strategy? No, you have to be weak. If you're okay. going to be that character, the weak get f- halfway through. They okay. definitely make it at least oh, six what was weeks. Her name? Kathy? Kathy. Kathy. Kathy was Kathy weak. Kathy didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. She wasn't like a, a threat. Right. So the thing was, right. well, she's never going to win a competition. So Who if cares? it's me versus her, her right. I'll beat her in the competition. Right. I'll be right. able to get rid of her. Right. Nobody ever feared, um, you know, her taking over. Okay. But she made it far. I mean, she made it quite a few weeks. Mm-hmm. Cassie might make but it But last further. year, the, in, in 11, Natalie was a total waste. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Yes. And, and you know, th- that whole side. And Jesse is a giant waste of space. And then the relationship between Jesse. Yeah. And they were crying. And that Natalie. Was great. That oh. was excellent. That was so good. Um, so th- that, that Kalia Booker is next. Kalia Booker, you go into Kalia Booker. She's thirty, living in no, she's living in Los Angeles, but she's from Philly. She's a writer, but it doesn't say for what. And three adjectives that describe her. Anyone who can describe themselves in three adjectives is pretty boring. But if I have to, I um, if I have to, dramatic, adventurous, and gregarious. My favorite thing is somebody who criticizes the question and then answers it anyway. By the way, she has no strategy okay. in Big Brother. Why? Because everybody loves her and she'll be there till the end because she's such a nice person. She's addicted she to BlackBerry, gone. email, Facebook, yeah. and Twitter. Well, not now you're not. Uh, and then we have Dominic, age 25. Uh, funny, outgoing, and good-hearted. Riding his motorcycle and mountain bike. I'm a speed freak. I love to rush <laughs> off flying on... I get a rush of flying... What did it say? A rush of flying I on love land. F- I love the rush of flying on land. Yeah. Right. Uh, what is the most difficult part? Not being able to leave or go outside of the house. You can go outside of the house, actually. Let me ask you a question, because when I heard that, a lot of people are saying that. That wouldn't really bother me. What do you guys think would be the most difficult? What would what would really bother you? Uh, not having the volume. No TV. <laughs> yeah. That's true. No uh, CVS. What are you afraid of? This is the best part. I'm afraid of STDs. Right. Yeah. Everything else I can handle. Yeah, everything everything else, else I can adapt to. Hey, guess what, Dominic? You can adapt to STDs too, buddy. Oh, that's great. You can great certainly answer. adapt to that. Good job, Dominic. Uh, Keith Henderson, age 32, human resources manager, charming, adorable, and kiss ass. He does look like it from his picture. He's going to make him. it far. I don't he's know that, why. He's that guy. He's that guy. I think he's going to make it far. He's the athletic type. He's, you know, he's going to be a strong competitor in the games. Uh, strategy for winning Big Brother. I'm going to use my HR charm and get people to trust me and love me. Then I'll stab them if I need to. Yeah, he's actually going to make it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so I, I But like I like him. that his favorite activities are hanging out with friends, working out, dancing, writing poetry, and going to church. I like it. He says, what will you take in the house? My toothbrush because my smile is key and the Bible to keep me grounded. Now, the next guy. Oh. Uh. I've yeah. seen videos. Now, he's made videos on YouTube. Right. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Uh, Luan. If, if I could get that video, I, I would play it. Luan Exum, age 39. Uh, I don't like Urbania. Him. What is that? Where's his hometown? Illinois. Illinois. He's gonna, I'm telling you right now. He's going to take over this show. He's What does what he use to describe himself? It's Jess's favorite okay. word. Jess? Three adjectives that describe you. Handsome Exy. Handsome Exy. Handsome Exy and clever. Two words that cannot be put together no matter how badly you want to. Right. So here's my problem with this. First of all, handsome Exy is not a word. Although he then goes on to explain that it's handsome and sexy because, because I'm inside and how out. How can you be handsome and sexy on the inside? You could be a good person on the inside. You can't be handsome on the inside. Or sexy. Right. Right. You're telling me your, other, your organs are handsome and sexy? Right. And the other thing that bothers me about this is handsome exy, you've now taken that those two words and you've created <laughs> one. Your second word is clever. There's no third word. Go back to second word, which is clever. Right. You're not so clever. Can you go to the favorite activities, Jess? Because I feel like you're going to find something there you like even more. Mm-hmm. My favorite activity is exercising because it keeps my mind sharp at me looking <laughs> handsome-fied. Handsome-fied. I hope he's oh. out week one. <laughs> How could you hope that? He's, I, I don't know. I do. He no, looks he like looks he's annoying. up to no good, this guy. Well, he's clearly up to something. Oh I don't even God. know he what says to do that, uh, What do you do with this guy? I hope he's handsome-victed. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
Okay. He says that he hates roaches. That's his biggest fear is roaches. Uh, he loved Will from second season. I loved how he was upfront and honest about uh, from the beginning of the game. He used his looks and personality to win votes and the game. His life's motto is some people got it and some people don't. Don't. Now go get it. All right. So <laughs> oh, I wait, have, wait, wait, here wait. we go. Here we wait, go. What would you take into the house? My face clippers. So I can always stay camera ready. What the hell is a face clipper? Here we go. Here is a uh, a clip of Lawan Exum as. Here we go. Here we go. It's uh, very very professional here today, by the way. Get to visit our so website at welovebigbrother.com for more exclusive content. And while you're there, sign up for the. I don't know where that's coming. This is all Exum. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. Hang this on. This is all part of the Lawan, twist. Lawan, one of the brand new Big Brother house yeah, guests. This. This is all part of the Lawan. twist. Okay. I well. give up. <laughs> Never mind. That is not going to work. All right. So keep going. So what would you do if Big Brother made you famous? I would show the entertainment world that there are still normal human beings in Hollywood and give back to my hometown in Illinois. Here we go. This is uh, courtesy of We Love Big Brother. Lawan, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. All right. Tell us a little bit about yourself, the basics. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? My name is Lawan Exum. Okay. And oh, you're I'm right. from Urbana, Illinois. And I am currently a legal file clerk. And had you seen Big Brother before applying for the show? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I would have loved it if he said, no, what's Big Brother? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what show? What, what, what is this show? Right. Brilliant. He thinks he's going to be a real housewife. Yeah. Lawan Exum. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if, what he will do. I don't know what he will do. I hope not much. You know what? He might be a character. He might be good. No, I can see him already getting on people's nerves and really wanting p other people to vote him out. Like, I could really see that this he's not going to be a fun character. And then we have Portia. Yeah. Portia Bridges, age 23, from Fort Lauderdale, right now living in Miami Beach, Florida. The mm -hmm. bottle girl. A, a VIP cocktail waitress. Cocktail waitress. Right. Three adjecti adjectives that describe you. Uh, Tim, do the honors. She is sexy. She is also bitchy, and like many of these contestants, clever. Yeah. Clever is apparently the default. <laughs> yeah. If mm -hmm. you can't think of a third word to describe yourself, you're clever. Right. I, don't, I don't know if clever people call themselves clever. Yeah. Especially following sexy and bitchy. Yeah. I want to remind everybody, you can watch us live at gfqlive.tv every Thursday uh, evening, late afternoon, 7 p.m. East. Uh, we are doing our Big Brother Rewind every Thursday, uh, and, if, and then we have other shows that follow. We have the Andrew Zarian show that follows that. Uh, but we want to make this interactive. We want to get the viewers involved. So we're going to be taking phone calls, and we're going to be having guests on uh, in the coming weeks, depending, because two of my guests uh, that I was hoping to be uh, somewhat uh, on the show regularly might be in that house right now. So right. I'm, I'm a little screwed in that sense if they are in that house. Uh, so, uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of phone calls. We're going to have uh, experts on, Big Brother experts on the show. Uh, and, I, of course, I want to thank um, our, uh, Big Brother Network for providing a lot of the information and plugging us uh, today. Uh, also, uh, online Big Brother uh, for uh, the information that I'm using right now. So what does she say? She goes, strategy for <sighs> not... Strategy Sorry. for winning. N try not to blow up at too many people. Yeah, the other thing she says is that her favorite activities are going to the beach, then out to eat, and then out to clubs. Yeah. What I'm going to take into the Big Brother house and why sunglasses, my must have. Rosebud lip balm, you never know. You never know what, when your lips are going to be chapped? My favorite, she goes, what? And bikinis. Yeah. They're what I live in. <laughs> Which uh, cast member did you like? Natalie Martinez. I love that she straight up lied to everyone and it worked. Yeah. Cool. We were around the same age, so I hate that she had the idea and chance before me. What are you afraid of, Portia? Sharks. Sharks. Sharks, little known fact, big liars. Yeah. Uh, Lie accomplish you are most proud of. Taking care of my father after his heart attack. Can we prove that she didn't do that? Because I guarantee you <laughs> that mm -hmm. she did not take care of him at all right uh finish this sentence my life motto my life's motto is fear is stupid so are regrets wow okay 
what would you take into that house and why? Sunglasses, my must have. Uh, and the bikini, Jessica read that. Uh, stre- uh, what What would you do if Big Brother made you famous? Write it out as long as possible. Yeah, define, so, define ride. So now if Rachel is... Oh, they're going to the, go at it. They're going to go oh, at it. Wait a minute, Jess, One. Jess, Rachel was a rocket scientist. Do we forget that? What was she? She was a chemist? She was a chemist and a VIP cocktail waitress. Yeah. Betches. Betches, yeah. So it should be uh, interesting to see. I miss her. The two of them. I really, when, when I'd she like left, to see her and, and I, Lawson, Luan, <laughs> Luan, go Luan. at it. That would be a great. Yeah. I like it. Little so now, clash. but here's the thing. Like these romances are a big deal in the house. It Showmances. makes it interesting. Showmances. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you, welcome. Tim. Thank you, Tim Dillon. I've got the terminology uh, down, folks. You can watch, you can see Tim Dillon uh, perform comedy every sure, week. Sure, tomorrow night at the Royal Oak Bar in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, if you're not doing anything. And I know many of you from around the country, but it's a great time to take a red-eye flight to New York and <laughs> uh, come see me in the uh, borough of Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Show is free and starts at 8.30. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> very nice plug to people that are oh. in somewhere other than New York. Listen, it's not easy, but it's worth it. You, uh, again, this this whole concept. Now you have all these, all these co- people, right? And then you have the let's say like, we're, again, which is all an assumption. We might be all wrong. It might be a total swear, right? Let's say you have the power couples. The showmances make it for a lot of people. You've kind of eliminated yourself, a- and you cut it down when you're talking about only six cast members. Right. 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 That, that doesn't work either. Yeah, I don't know. It should be really interesting. It'll be interesting I, to see tonight what actually, you know, happens. materializes here. What do you think, Tim? I don't know. I think I think you've probably had it. I, I think that there's I, I think it's going to be clearly past cast members. I, I do. Um, in terms of it being couples, probably. Probably just because it's six people. I think when I spoke to you, Andrew, about the last week, um, you know, it's going to be six couples, and I think it's going to be uh, three couples, and I think it's going to be the couples that they feel are going to turn up the heat the most. You think? Okay. So, but I, again, I feel that we will see uh, Jeff and Jordan in here. Well, they're the most po- I mean, they've been on several CBS shows. But are we done with them? Uh, let, let's talk about that. You're not done with them? I like them. Really? You're not bored with it already? No, I like them. How great would it be if it wasn't past? Uh, Big right, Brother. like maybe How they're great. just doing maybe like this something just, similar to before, where they know each other and they didn't want. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just some the the entire Lohan family. I don't know what it is. No. That would be a great. How genius twist. would that be? The fact that I'm not working for CBS. Mm-hmm. I, what if it's it's Nancy Grace and uh, Gene Velez Mitchell? <laughs> Nancy Less Grace said. highest ratings, by the way. You yeah. know that Casey Andy brought her the highest ratings ever. I'm sure. But I mean, everybody's leaping to the idea that it's tonight three or couples. suicide. <laughs> um, we yeah. Here's here's an uh, interesting thing. Anthony in our chat room, uh, right. in one of our chat rooms, uh, GFQLive.tv says, "So if one is voted out, do both get voted out? Are they playing as one?" I don't think so. I don't think so because that's makes interesting. The game way too short. Right. It would be. It wouldn't work. Be yeah. over in it would August. Be over. Yeah. Th- um, it's thirteen weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because we did yeah, about twelve, and yeah, we did thirteen weeks. No, it ends in October. No, it ends in September. Are you sure? Yes. 13 weeks from now. That means it's next January. <laughs> yes, honey. Great math. Next skills. January, the show is My ended. love. Uh, yeah, I guess that wouldn't work either, but it's a lot of people this season. That's the only thing we're talking about. If, if this is the case, and let's, let's bring up the, uh, the graphic. We have 2468 announced. 10, 12, 14 people in the house. How many did we have last year? 13 or 12. It was tw- it was sh- it was little. I, don't I think it was supposed to be 13 but it was only 12. It was 12. So we're I, we yeah. have a we have two extra people. That means two extra weeks. I don't think they're going to be no, playing they as do one. Though. No, he, do here, no. Eviction. He's right actually. Anthony makes a lot of sense because think about it. We have eight people, right? Eight evictions plus the three, 9 10 11 two uh bye weeks. I'd love if it was Julie Chen, mm-hmm. Les yeah. Moonves. Yeah, you know, yeah. CBS Brass moves yeah. into the house. You know, we we've they did a celebrity Big Brother in the right. UK, mm-hmm. and I think Pam Anderson showed up. What's well, interesting about Big Brother is it's got several franchises across the globe, and it's yeah. a, just a huge reality show. Huge. And they all differ 
from the one that we watch in America. Yeah, and a lot of nudity right. out in Europe. I, I'm thinking maybe we bring that in to the American version. Well, you know, there are a lot of websites you know. dedicated to just the nudity on right. Big Brother. Really? Yeah. Well, we've seen some nudity in our yeah. American version. No, no, no. I'm talking about the American one. We also saw a lot one. of sex. Last season, yes. We saw a lot of under the cover sex. Mm-hmm. And then uh, two seasons ago, we saw the two minute episode between uh, Jesse and what's oh, her Oh, Jesse and yeah, Natalie. Natalie. Was it Natalie? It was Natalie. I think it was Natalie. Punky no. Blonde Chick. No, no, no. Oh, no. You're talking about the other one. Yeah, yeah. I forgot her name. Uh, you know, this is interesting because you're looking, I'm looking at the house now and I'm trying to think what they will do this season. I really hope it's not as simple as Jeff and Jordan, uh, Brandon and Rachel and, and, you know, Dick and Danielle or, or it's another couple, another team. Well, do you remember the season where they had the set of twins and half of them were playing? She would play for a week, then she would go, and her identical twin would come in the house yes. and play. Yes, but nobody knew that it was. That's a twins. that's that was genius. That I was think, so things good. Things like that are amazing. I think we need to bring the old guy back from Big Brother Ten. It's probably dead. We need to bring the old guy back. I don't know. You know, I, I'm. By the way, I'm. It's three set of tw- sets of twins. You no, know, I, I honestly. Gonna, I honestly feel that Jeff and Jordan will be on here. But what, what are you going to do with that? I mean, that, that's fine for the first couple of weeks, but there's got to be additional twists. You said there were two rooms. Two, H-O-H yeah, two right. HOH, H-O-H rooms. rooms. Where do you sure think that, that goes? Yeah, yeah, th- yeah that, that's, that's interesting. That's a very interesting twist. You know, so you guys think they're splitting up? Well, they could have I mean, two separate games, ha- two different games happening at the same time, and when they're down, you know. Right. Have it a rapid game, and when you when they're down to six and six, just put the house together. They could do that. I mean, that's 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 a thought, right? They're very good at keeping it a secret. And I have to give CBS a lot of credit when when it comes to a lot of people. They could do a live double eviction tonight, knock out two of the players. Then it would be an even tonight. Six tonight, and, yes. they're not going to do it. Then there would be Your an even flawed. six and six, Jess, and that then is, they'd play two different you're games. Getting crazy, Jess, and then I'm, when they get down yeah. to three and three, then they merge them. I'm starting to think CBS has gotten to you, and you were part of the twist. Yeah. Because that is just complete misinformation. That is that is bad right. intelligence. I, I bad think it intelligence. Would be brilliant, and it, they're all quadruplets. We're gonna we're gonna get ready to wrap it up for today, but I do wanna I do wanna revisit this again. We this season has to be memorable, right? Mm-hmm. Last season, who won last season? Hayden won. Yeah. Hayden was not is not a memorable character from the game. What That's has he true. done since that? Nothing. Evil Dick, by the way. My Huge. favorite character from the game, not because we do have a a, a, uh, a relationship, and I do speak to Dick. He leaves me voicemails cursing at me, uh, which I love Dick, but uh, I shouldn't have said that. that no, that's really going to be clipped. Yeah, and then that's, that, well, I have a couple of those from the last time Dick Within was minutes, on. Within minutes, right. Um, so, uh, single, but even before that, I always felt that Dick was the strongest. He was such a heel. He was such a villain right. on that game, and he was this, he was this all-around character. And I think just because of that, he deserved to win. Jordan, on the other hand, what coasted on Jeff's shoulders, but she was so likable. People she was such liked the him girl so next door much. And but loved Jeff her. played that game for two people mm-hmm. the entire time. Jeff played, and he sacrificed for her. And I think that story made it captivating. Mm-hmm. I think last season, one team controlled the entire, and the whole thing was Shima, by the way. Big Brother 11, she must lose her mind. Mental breakdown. And that yes. cost the game for that entire t- side. And the Brigade right. Alliance was last year. And the last big, year. the longest running alliance in Big Brother history. And right. they controlled the game. but right. And I think that made it bad. I think them controlling the game from beginning to end. Monotonous. And pulling people, pulling people, pulling people right. ruined it. That final, I didn't even, I remember towards the end, we were still doing the show. And I was, I was done with the show. And I remember the excitement that I had with Big Brother Love, and I'm sure many of our viewers are going to agree with this. The excitement that I had, and and I, you know, I've admitted to this. I followed Big Brother, and I've always watched it. Mm-hmm. But Jessica's a bigger fan than I am. I got into it, Big Brother 10, Big Brother 11. I got into it big time, Big Brother 12, of course, because we were doing the show. But I am a newer Big Brother fan. Uh, Jessica's been watching it from the beginning. Right. I'd like to call out Sec from the Andrews Arian show today. 
Why? Uh, do, because you've you filled in right now? Yeah. Wh- what time is the Andrews Arian show on? It starts at 8. And 8 p.m. And East? And then it ends at 10. Yeah. However, oh, nine the o'clock. show starts at 9. It's a DVR set. It <laughs> is set. However, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a draft. I feel, I feel a little yeah, sick. A little sick. Um, so I, I remember that excitement I got with Big Brother 11. And many of our viewers did too. And even people, you know, I've heard people say, well, Big Brother 11 was not the best. I don't think it was. I think Dick's season was great when, you know, when he's standing out in that rain. Mm-hmm. And, and he's about to collapse, you know, during that endurance challenge. Mm-hmm. And it's raining on him. I mean, that was so captivating. We didn't have that this season. No, everybody made deals on the No, and I and hope, and you know what? Yeah, I really hope, and this was another thing that people were complaining, and I got an email from somebody that said, I really hope they have good endurance challenges this year. Mm-hmm. They didn't have enough. They had a lot of, they had a lot of uh, memory type stuff. And the stupid people did bad, and the smart people did well. Right. Uh, remember right. Jeff's Technotronic, by the way. Technotronic Phenomenal. was my absolute favorite word of the day. <laughs> so they were doing, they had to, it was like almost What about like Scrabble, Handsome right? Exy? Handsome Exy, yeah. Come on. No, handsome they were doing, in, in Big Brother 11, I believe Jeff was, they were doing like this word Scrabble thing. Now, and mind his, you, he's a scientist or physicist. Jeff? Oh, no, not Jeff. I'm thinking of the other guy. It was Jeff that did the Technotronic. Was it Jeff? Oh, poor Jeff. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it, was it was Jeff. Jeff. He put the word... And he could have done techno. He did technotronic as right, a word. Right. Word. No, you're talking about Andrew. The, the remember Andrew, the doctor. I think yes, he was like a podiatrist. Yes. 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 But yes. And so Jeff, Andrew didn't come. Jeff over. did the word tech, technotronic. See, this was another guy. Andrew's exit was the biggest thing that happened last season, and it was early on. And Andrew was a great character, and mm-hmm. you know, and and this game they could swerve the game in a direction. And I think this. I think the coup d'état that they added in Big Brother 11 swerve the game in a different direction and Big Brother could do this Big Brother could and I'm not saying from things that I know personally okay this isn't coming from anything that I know but I I, they could they could push certain things with certain ways that they play the game it seems like last season when that when the original saboteur was eliminated it really changed the game and it screwed him up Right. And I hope, and I know many of the viewers right now uh, would probably think the same. I really hope this does not happen again. And maybe these twists and these angles that they're adding is hurting the way the game is played. And we're not getting a full game. We're not getting a game that should have been played that way. Right. I think we're getting, you know, they want this huge angle and they want this, this buzz and they want this big bang. And if it doesn't play out the way it's supposed to, they're screwed. I think the, the coup d'etat worked out great last season. This season did not work. Matt had the coup d'etat, and he had the the power of what was it? Right, it was like he a, had everything. It, yeah, it was a ridiculous. And he didn't coup use a thing. De Vito or something yeah. like that. He didn't use a thing. Does it come down to the, really the selection of the cast? You know, no matter how many twists and turns you throw, you got to have people that are going to create the sense of drama. You got to have people yeah. that are Although, scheming, doing things constantly. The, That's I think what Andrew was missing from last season. You want to see people doing things constantly. Mm-hmm. But I think that the twist does add something. The original concept of Big Brother was like 12 or 13 strangers. It was kind of like right. real world on, on steroids. And they were trying to like vie for a spot in the end with money. But what made the later season so good, especially the one with Dick and Danielle, was that that twist, that the fact that half the cast knew each other and they were enemies, that was brilliant. That is great. That was absolutely brilliant to have in the end, like the love of a daughter and a father, and they haven't spoken for years and they yeah. hate each other. Like, yeah, it was ca- and, and it's all real. And that was all real. That and was the great. thing. Yeah, it was real. It right. reminds me of Christmas. That really yeah. is the type of stuff I go in for. No, I think it was it was a great Real idea. So pain. I think I think we can't lose the twists completely. No, I don't no. think you lose it completely. But I think but I think when the game is depending on on something like the saboteur so heavily, right, and they're gone the first week, right, it, it messes where do you up go? the game. Right. Where, do where do you go from, from there? there? Right. What, what do right. you do? I, really, what do you do? Right. So I really hope that this game is played out long. It's a nice right. long game, and it's not a one side controls everything. Mm-hmm. Because, of course, everybody's going to go out there to try to make an alliance because they saw how successful the brigade was last year. Right. right. 
I don't know. So, so very it's interesting. interesting tonight, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern live. CBS. Yeah. I want to. I CBS. want to thank Tim Dillon for joining us. I would us. love to. I would thank you for having me. Um, of course, this was the first show, so we really it, nothing has happened in the house yet. Right. It was a pre-show. It was an introduction to what we hope, and it was our opinion. It's a t- tailgating. Yeah. In the coming weeks, we're going to have. Um, we're going to ha- we're going to talk about what has happened mm-hmm. on TV, but we also going to do spoilers. And the way we do the spoilers, it's a concern for many of our viewers. The way we do the spoilers are, the first half we discuss what we have seen on TV. The second half is what we think will happen uh, and what has happened in the house that we have not viewed, we have not seen on TV. So uh, we kind of split and we try to make it easy for the viewers where they can listen for the first half. And if they, if they don't want the spoiler, which many of the, the viewers actually don't mind it because they do have a subscription. To right. uh, the Big Brother live feed, which it's not very expensive at all, and you could definitely get it. Uh, you can find it online, but and you could buy. Plus, it online, then you can say. download us on iTunes the next day exactly. when it's already played, so you don't have to worry about the spoilers if you, if that's a concern for you. Exactly. So you could download it on iTunes, so it's uh, very easy. And of course, on our website, it, it, this show should be posted within the next hour or two. All right. Uh, two hours. Let's give it. Uh, I want to thank thank Tim Dillon. Thank I want to thank Jessica uh, for all joining right. me. I want to thank uh, all our great viewers. I see a lot of people are in the chat room. Uh, I want to thank everybody that tuned in. In the coming weeks, we have a lot of surprises for you. Can you call Expect me handsome? Expect unexpected. Can you call me handsome Exy before handsome we leave? Handsome Exy, Tim Dillon. Thank you, I everybody. appreciate it. Yes. And we'll see, we'll see you all next week on Big Brother Rewind. Good night. Good night, everybody.